Well, Mars has been the beguiling planet. Mars has tricked us every time. We saw it at first, and we're disappointed. It looked lunar. And then we saw it a decade later, in the early 70s with Mariner 9, and we saw a world of fantastic possibilities. Big canyons, mountains, ice caps, wow. Though only about half the size of Earth, Mars is a world of enormous valleys, swirling dust storms, and vast ranges covered in a blanket of reddish dust. And it's only about 50 million miles away. We should go to Mars for a couple different reasons. Uh, one is, for planets, it's close. So it's accessible, and we can actually, for robotically, we can send a spacecraft every 26 months. So we can build up an infrastructure there it's potentially, it's another place where life might have started. So scientifically, there's lots of things that we can learn about Mars that'll help inform us about our planet and what life is. And then the kind of the final reason for going to Mars is we need to have humans on another place if we're to continue beyond whatever the lifetime of this planet is, which is you know, on the order of 500 million years. Going to Mars will be like building a cathedral. You have to stick to it. Any perturbation, any lapse in support, you'll lose the ability to do it. And just remember what going to Mars will be like. It'll be like launching a mass equivalent to the space station to carry four, five, six women and men to Mars and bring them back. And we still haven't finished the space station. Mars is the nearest hard place to get to where we can sensibly ask questions that relate to our own existence. Our history of exploration changed with Mars as we looked at it through different lenses. Today, we are so privileged to have five working space systems robotically exploring Mars, the people here, the machines there.